to remind us of their bitter fate. The salt upon the bread plate reminds us of the countless volunteers of families as they wait. The glass is inverted. They cannot toast with us this day. The chair is empty. They are not here. The candle is reminiscent of the light of hope, which lives in the heart to, il to eliminate their way home, away from their captors, and into the open arms of a great nation. Let us pray to the Supreme Commander that all our comrades will soon be back within our ranks. Let us remember them and never forget their sacrifices. May God forever watch over them and protect them and their families. We will now recite the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, one God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Recover. We will now recite the preamble to the American League. For God and country, we associate ourselves together for the following purposes, to uphold and defend the Constitution of the United States of America, to maintain law and order, to foster and perpetuate 100% Americanism, to preserve the memories and incidents of our associations in all wars, to inculcate a sense of individual obligation to the community, state, and nation, combat the autocracy of both the classes and the masses, to make right and center lines, to promote peace and goodwill on earth, to safeguard and transmit to posterity the principles of justice, freedom, and democracy, to consecrate and sanctify our comradeship, our devotion, and mutual helplessness. Now call September 24th, meeting of the Charles S. Hack Club 79, Department of Maine. For order, you may be seated. Time to allow me to uh, introduce each of uh, our guests in attendance. But if you are a guest today or not a member of Post 79, but if you're here uh, as a guest, please rise. Packet 
it that proved beyond words that we had picked the right recipient for this award. And we've created some bullets here um, from the information that was sent in, and it will show you how much he deserves this. Legionnaire of the Year 2023-2024, awardee Andrew Andy L. Buckman. Nominated by Charles S. Hatch, Post 79, here in Berwick. Service before self is a credo that guides all that Comrade Buckman does within the American Legion. He currently serves on the Post Executive Board and various committees. Budget, membership, public re relations, citizenship and veterans, community support and veterans assistance, fund committee, where he has made the greatest impact on the well-being of the area of veterans. And he is one of a small handful of post 79 members who are instrumental in conveying the needs of our veterans to those who can help and successfully solicit, solicit the support and sponsorship of local businesses. The following are examples of those achievements. The Berwick Car Show for 11 years in a row. Yes.
and it is signed by the Speaker of the House, the President of the Senate, the Secretary of the Senate, and the Clerk of the House. This is for you, for all you do. Thank you so much. He doesn't talk. Speech! <laughs> <laughs> oh, we know that. Okay, protect me. Yeah, I will. Okay. Um, actually, my, my thought is that I would like to thank every single member of Post 79 and all of my sponsors that have helped me throughout the years and Actually, everybody in this town. We are very blessed to have the backing of this town, which I certainly appreciate, and so does every member of this post. Thank you very much. Staff all loves him. We just 
realize uh, how he just keeps going. I, I guess that's how we should be once we get into retirement, is we, rather than just sitting around, have an opportunity to serve and just keep on going. He's an encourager. Um, he's just a real motivator for all of us. And, and when I see all the work that's been done through the, his efforts and um, through his uh, perseverance <laughs> of what he does, it, it, it just really encourages us. We we're often talking about him at the office, how he just keeps going. He's the um, He's the energizer, buddy. <laughs> and we, we just love him, and I know the community loves him, and we're just so thankful for all he does. And I keep thinking one of these days he's going to say, all right, um, this is it, I'm done. But he promised me tonight he's just going to keep on going. So I think he's going <laughs> to... He's probably going to give up the ghost at the car show in maybe 30 or 40 years. We'll have to, we'll have to see. But thank you, Andy. Uh, you're an encouragement and a blessing to us. Thank you so much. Okay, sure. So, um, this was, we put up front the recognition of Andy. Uh, there, I know there are a lot of guests that are here, and that's pr your primary reason for coming. Uh, thank you for coming.